What's going on everybody? Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. What you guys are going to be watching today is going to be another 100 plus kill gameplay um, on Nuketown with the VMP. I actually ended up cutting about 3 or 4 minutes from this original gameplay. It was originally 12 minutes long, but um, I cut it down to like, I think it was 8.30 or uh, 9 minutes. So um, I basically just cut out every single time where I either spawned and didn't die, or I actually spawned and died without getting a kill. Or just the boring parts where you gotta kill and die and stuff like that. Originally, I was gonna have my overlay up here somewhere, but um, every time I actually put it in Sony Vegas, it was lagging for some reason, so I just decided to take that out completely. I'm actually thinking of making this a new series where I actually get 100 plus kills with uh, every single gun in the game, um, whatever the launchers or stuff like that. I'm just gonna get rid of that because that 100% that's not gonna happen. But the class I was using for this was obviously the VMP uh, with quick draw, grip, and extended mags. And then my perks were Afterburner, Fast Hands, uh, Blast Suppressor, and Tactical Mask. Quick Drawn Grip were used for those close quarter combats and uh, the long range runs so that I, I don't have that much accuracy on my gun. And then Extended Mags was used so that I can spray a bunch of ammo into somebody if they don't die or stuff like that. And it actually helps me get a lot of 2, 3, maybe even 4 pieces. I've been using Afterburner a lot lately on these classes just because I feel like I actually do move around a lot and especially on Nuketown you want to be able to get away from your enemy um, a lot quicker so you don't you don't want to be stuck without having zero boost when you're trying to jump up into one of the windows. I've died so many times like that. Fast hands I use because it's basically like dexterity from Black Ops 2 uh, that helps you bring your gun up a lot quicker and um, especially with an SMG that's what you want since you're kind of going to be uh, really really close with the other team so you don't want to be stuck with your gun down while you're actually about to get in a gunfight. And now for, for my perks 3 I said I had blast suppressor and tactical mask. I have blast suppressor. Um, it's not really that important in pubs because there's not really that much people that have really good uh, map awareness in uh, public match but I just have it because um, if you are trying to flank or something like that or get away from the enemy team when you're actually on a streak um, if they for some reason look at their map, uh, they're gonna see that you're around their area and they're gonna just gonna try and hunt you down, especially if you're on a streak. Um, that's basically how pubs work. And then I have tactical mask because I hate getting stunned so much. Um, I'd I, I used to have a flight jacket on, but um, I kind of like came up with myself that um, if I get naded, I can get out of the way. But um, if I get stunned or something like that, I'm kind of stuck there, helpless, and the enemy team could just basically just run up and just stun me or kill me or whatever they want to do hit me from behind and it's a lot easier for them to do that score streaks to me in this series are actually really really important because that's what actually gets me most of my kills um, I was running Wraith, Raps and a GI unit Wraith and Raps hands down are the two best uh, score streaks in this game they're definitely the ones that you get you the most kills uh, Wraith to me um, in my opinion is just 100% so OP and then um, Raps, whatever the Wraith can get, say you're indoors or something like that. Uh, the Raps will just basically clean them up because, um, say, you call in the Wraith, um, the first thing the enemy team is going to try and do is either shoot it down, which has been happening a lot lately, uh, pretty annoying because people are going for dark matter, or they're going to try and run inside. And then, say you call in your Wraith, they're going to run inside, call in your Raps, whatever, whoever runs inside um, is going to get cleaned up by Raps. So either way, you're going to end up killing somebody. Um, which is really really good and especially for Newtown most of it is open uh, so the uh, Wraith just basically just kills everything and um, the Raps since there is only two houses that people can really go in um, to protect themselves from the Wraith uh, the Raps just goes in there floods and whatever and just destroys it uh, like I was saying in the beginning of the video about the new series um, I actually have two guns already done which is the Gorgon I remember I had it like the first like week or something when the game actually came out and now the VMP is actually done as of now I'm actually working on the CUDA um, I got really really close before but my team capped all the flags in domination and the game ended really, really quick I, I'm pretty sure I was like on 83 or something like that so I was actually really really close most of these games in the series will most likely be on Nuketown just because that's what everybody plays um, I find it easier to get streaks and stuff like that, so it gets me a bunch of kills. And um, whenever I play Chaos Mosh Pit, it's like 98% of the time I actually get Nuketown. And um, I kind of learned to spawn on it and everything where people spawn and help people play it, uh, the hiding spots where people camp and stuff like that. So it's really easy for me to actually get some kills and stuff like that, and I actually learned how to play it. Uh, especially in Domination, Hardpoint's a little bit tricky because uh, the spawns just kind of go all over the place. But um, Domination and stuff like that, it's uh, I, I have it down. 
Uh, if you guys do have any ideas for any series or stuff like that you guys want me to cover, um, whatever you guys want my next gun to be, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I really want to hear what you guys actually want me to do. And uh, if you guys think this series is actually a good idea, let me know with that uh, too because I'm not going to keep doing it if you guys don't like it. It's pretty fun to actually see uh, me get... 100 plus kills with whatever gun in the game like I said I'm gonna be trying to go with every single gun I will actually be making a playlist for this series so if you guys are actually interested in uh, checking every single 100 plus kill gameplay that I've gotten right now there's only two like I said but um, if you guys are interested in watching them there's gonna be a playlist on my channel you guys can go check it out and it'll be um, every single game that I've gotten like I said there was only two but um, hopefully in the future there is gonna be um, at least like 10 or something like that. There isn't really a special way of playing Nuketown. Um, if you are going for 100 plus kills, the only thing you could really do is play for your streaks. Hope your streaks get you a lot of kills, which they usually do since Nuketown is uh, pretty much a uh, pretty open map. So like that, I was saying before, the wraps and the wraith completely destroy on this. But um, since I am going for a 100 plus kill gameplay, it doesn't really matter how many deaths I have. So my goal when I actually go for these gameplays is to just basically... Um, rush rush right off the start right it whenever i can possible and um get as much kill as i can before dying because that's the only thing that i really care about is the kills especially um of course if i am on a kill streak or something like that say i'm on beat down my cap i capped it i'm on like 200 kills um and say i kill somebody i'm only 100 away um i'm obviously i'm not going to try and rush them if i'm on like a high kill streak or something like that but um what i would do is probably wrap back wait until I can pick one guy off and then call my streak let my streak get some kills and then that's when I start pushing up when I actually have my full streaks so that way I'm not risking um, choking a bunch of kills at the end you kind of always want to rush when you're actually going for 100 plus kills on Newtown because some it actually depends on your teammates a lot but if they're the OBJ type and uh, they hop on every single hill they don't get off and every they cap every single flag um, the game's gonna end quickly obviously so you don't want to just be chilling back waiting for your streaks when you could be pushing up rushing and stuff like that and getting like an extra 20 or 30 plus kills a game um, I've obviously done it a lot in the past you have to learn from your mistakes but um, the only thing that you could really do in this is just rush because if you chill back um, the game will obviously end and in hard point it's really really hard because um, if the hill gets contested or nobody's even on it, um, time goes down and after a while, like, you're getting really close to 100 and then the game just stops. It, it's happened to me so many times and, um, either that or either your team or the enemy team just doesn't stop hopping in the hill and the game just ends right away. Safeguard is actually another good, uh, game mode to get 100 plus kills. But um, it's not really good for getting kill streak. So if you're really good with just like an SMG and rushing and stuff like that, that's definitely for you. Because if you have the right teammates and stuff like that, um, you could definitely make that game last for at least like 20 minutes. That will get you a bunch of kills. Um, that's actually where I got my first 100 plus, and um, with morning kills actually. So we dropped three 100 plus kill gameplays. But it isn't really good for getting score streaks because in most other game play, uh, game modes, you actually get 100 points for actually killing. Uh, the other team and then like domination and stuff like that you get 200 for capping a 100 sometimes and um in safeguard you actually only get 50 points which is actually half of the normal points you get for a kill in other game modes so it's actually like twice as hard to get your streaks and um it's really really annoying if you're the type to just tries to camp and stuff like that um i can see why they did it but um it's really really annoying trying to get your streaks in that because you do have to do um, double the amount of points and stuff like that. Alright, so we are actually nearing close to the end over here. I almost did choke the 100 bomb. I got stuck on 99 for a little bit. I kept dying over and over again. You guys are going to see that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys like this series, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.